Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna do another unboxing this week and this time it's the ZD Toys Iron Man Mark 17 Heartbreaker from the Iron Man 3 movie. So ZD Toys is at the pace where they were they are now doing the house party protocol armors and this is the first figure from that batch well except for mark 42 of course uh, uh, the prodigal son so they came out with this the heartbreaker figure so the first figure from the house party protocol and that uh, final battle scene at the dockyard so ZD Toys will be coming up with the uh, Mark 21 Midas and then Mark 31 uh, Silver Centurion and then there's another upcoming one, Mark 39, uh, Star Boost. So, you will be getting more of this uh, uh, house party protocol figures. So, yeah, let's start with the box art first. So, there's the new logo of ZD Toys right there. And then 110 scale Iron Man collections. So this is from the Iron Man 3 movie. And then Mark 17 XB11 here. So product shot of Mark's 17 Heartbreaker. So there's the side of the box. A nice image of heartbreaker there so we've got uh, a sticker here and then the zong zongdong toy sticker or for zd toys other side of the box and at the back we've got the product shot there mark 17 and yeah let's just open this up And there you go. So we've got our usual ZD Toys accessory pack here. Uh, three sets of three pairs of extra hands. Uh, two, two pairs of blast effect for the hands and the feet the standard the, this is the new standard base for ZD toys they used to be transparent now it's black and then there's the Iron Man 3 logo so we've got some extra here's the stand and yeah so we've got the repulsor with the color there. Uh, yeah, yeah, just the standard usual one. And then we've got a hole here to attach the blast effects. Mm, I think they got double here. These two look similar. Not much difference. So it, it's just go straight to the figure. So here we have a heartbreaker, and upon just by looking at it.
looks very nice yeah there's like a little weight to it uh, this bottom part is kind of loose but not an issue the top part is a little heavy so just by looking at it is very nice because heartbreaker has a unique design with this extra extended shoulder armor piece here extending at the back very nice looks like some exhaust here and like he has a jet pack or uh, the parachute pack and then the arc reactor the way it was designed it's very he has a big chest so yeah and the arc reactor is a little bigger yeah so yeah so even the shoulder pads are different and yeah, the color scheme as well gold on the top part and more of red at the bottom half so yeah overall design i like i like this uh, armor looks unique even the face is not the usual iron man head sculpt because you see there's lines on his yeah, ear cheeks and he has like a silver silver side armor there that is not very unusual for a iron man helmet yeah so yeah just by looking at the design is very unique and it looks good so let's go over the articulation still limited just up and down little tilt you can do 360 anyway you can just yeah move it left to the left and right that's it you cannot move up uh, look up that much just there it's all right it's, it's it's the aesthetic of the figure anyway if you're just gonna be posing him in your shelf he looks good so it's not a problem for me so for the sh uh, shoulder articulation we've got the extended ball joint there you can see it can extend the shoulder pad can move up so it won't hinder with the articulation there just be very careful because one of these got detached from my yeah, when, I, when I was reviewing it uh, the mark 46 one so just I'm gonna upload it soon so we've got a bicep swivel very nice the double jointed elbow nice articulation there it's pinless and yeah 
look at that very good so the shoulder look like because of the peg it look like it have a bicep I, I, I call that butterfly joint but no design on the armor side on the here on the side it looks good so for this one so the torso doesn't extend it just art that much and very limited on the front mm. the way it was designed no waist articulation here the this one has a little drop down yeah. legs on a ball joint there there's a swivel he can lift his legs that much and he can kick his legs that far the back oh there's a new joint here or oh, very this is something new when you're lifting the double jointed knees this part is on a hinge and it won't hinder with the uh, articulation yeah very, it's very nice something something new uh, so yeah no toe no toe hinge just a ball joint there on the feet a little ankle rocker and that's it it can even move up and down but yeah overall ZD toys really is killing it when it comes to the Iron Man suits Iron Man armors just they doing a great job when it comes to the paint yeah so this one is a definitely if you an iron man collector this is a must have for your collection so i'm just gonna compare him with uh, this iron man my one of my favorite Iron Man suit, the uh, Mark 42. So, since they are both featured on that Iron Man 3 movie, so yeah. And they are almost at the same height. But the build on this one is is more bulkier and yeah so yeah that's it guys i'll just watch out for my more of my upcoming zd toys unboxing and see you on my next unboxing so bye for now and have a nice day ciao